Welcome, welcome to the Viking stream! Hello, hello! How are you guys? How are you? How are you? Boom, baby! We're alive! And today we're playing Thrones! Thrones? <laughs> Throne in Liberty! Not Thrones! Throne! I always say Thrones. I don't know why. But welcome! Yes, I bought the early access. I want to lie in. <laughs> That's basically the only reason. And uh, also, th the game looks good. The game looks good. And uh, it fit perfectly to start with that this weekend. And I have an interview I want to go through with you guys. Before we hop into the game. They're talking about uh, what you can do in Throne and Liberty. They talk about PvE. They talk about PvP. And a lot of other stuff. Monetization. It's a great interview. Great interview. So hell to the year. We're going to go through that today. Watching Throne and Liberty stream. Stream. <laughs> Are you? What? What? <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Hell to the yes, sea walk. Sea walk. So, yeah, I hope you all had an amazing day so far. Let's jump into the interview. And let's get it. Welcome. And if you're on YouTube, be sure to press that like button on the stream to reach more people. Subscribe, follow. Let's get it. Let's commission mark Starforge to buy that beautiful new PC. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> okay. Great interview. Great interview. Now, I have not heard about these Shaq News interviews. It only got about 326 views. Which is kind of weird, because it's a great interview. But okay. Let's go. I'm Daniel LaFuente, the Globalization Design Manager for AGS, working on Throne and Liberty. I'm Merv Lee Kwai, Head of Third Party Publishing at Amazon Games. So you guys talk about, for people who don't know what this game is about, talk about what Throne, give us the elevator pitch for Throne and Liberty. Sure. So Throne and Liberty is a MMORPG that's available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation 5 with crossplay enabled. It's free to play. Uh, and it's set in the world of Silesium, so it's a very fast world. And I want to highlight two things here. The first is, a uh, big part of it is massive scale combat. Think thousands of players participating in castle sieges, for example, or hundreds of players participating in guild versus guild battles or boss fights in the open world. Um, and then a deep social system. So really heavily influenced by guilds. Um guilds, but not a must. And uh, if I have enough gold today, it costs around 3 million gold to make a guild. I'm going to make a guild. For us. For the, and for you, the viewers, hell to the year. Um, and letting players accomplish things together and also getting shared rewards in those guilds, that type of thing. Now this game is kind of different in, in terms of a, a classic MMO where you guys have not class archetypes, but kind of weapon archetypes instead. Talk a little bit about that. Sure. Uh, so we have a dual weapon system, uh, as you mentioned, unlike traditional MMOs, which have classes, we have a dual weapon system and it's the weapon that you're wielding uh, that determines your skills. Um, and you can have two weapons at a time and you can I like that. I like that. Class is okay. Class is okay. But it feels a little outdated. To pick and choose is awesome. But at the same time, when you're doing raids, 
when you're doing dungeons with other people, it feels like m maybe is it, isn't it a little odd if you need um healing class, but you can't really know if you have a healing class because of the web because there's no classes. You know, it, it seems a little hard to um cooperate. Combo any weapon with any weapon. So if you want to combo great sword with staff or staff with wand, either of them is okay. Um, and that's just one of the ways in which you'll kind of customize your build or your playstyle. We have other progression systems in the game that let you tweak that, such as weapon mastery um, and your gear itself and some of those substats within it. Now, are you still able to, like, if you're a fan of the classic, you know, wizard class or tank class, you still have those archetypes in the game, and how does that work? Yeah. Uh, again, that's going to be based on what weapons you select. So if you choose to go with the sword and shield spec, you will probably fill the more traditional tank role. Uh, if you try to play the wand class, you will fill the more traditional support or healer role. Uh, but all of them have a flair for DPS as well. And so how you pair those weapons with others allow you to still help or influence your teammates in other ways. Uh, but you still do feel those roles. You may have noticed during the demo that uh, there was a player uh, with you that was playing sword and shield filling that more traditional tank role. Um, so it's definitely Let's possible, go. and it's just about which weapon combinations you pick. You mentioned like you have these big raid, big raids, much more than 40-man raids in this game, and 40-man PvP arenas or even like 50 on 50. How, how does that work in your game? How, does, how do you balance that? How does that even compute <laughs> with that many players on screen at once doing things, doing their rotation? Yeah, of, of course there are challenges to that. Um, it's a pretty big and ambitious endeavor, uh, and it's something that we'll I bet. probably I bet. iterate on for a long time, right? We'll always be looking to make improvements. Um, so the first is the castle siege, that's what I was mentioning. So this is a, a purely PvP experience in the sense that you're getting together with your guild and with other guilds. You're forming large alliances, you're trying to combat against other alliances, um, and trying to claim the throne. And the winner of that throne, of course, is going to get uh, rewards. Uh, but then we have something, and that's thousands of players. It sounds so awesome. But I've heard that uh, in Guild Wars 2, it's about the same, isn't it? May have to join an NA guild, though. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's shit that they haven't done anything with Throne of Liberty either. Like, why the hell can't they have... ...both? But don't you think that's possible, though? That in the guild? I don't know. Right now, you queue as a healer, and since nobody's playing healer, it's difficult to queue into dungeons. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, I bet. I bet. Sounds that way. So we've actually already seen the game is live in Korea now, and we've seen sieges that are upwards of 1,700 players. So. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? And we have something, and that's thousands of players. So we've actually already seen the game is live in Korea now, and we've seen sieges that are upwards of 1,700 players. <laughs> That's a lot of people. 1,700 players! On the screen! That's maddening! So really massive in size. Um, and then it goes down from there, of course. We have uh, guild versus guild conquest battles. Those are going to be more around the roughly 60 to 70 person per team type of battle. We have dynamic events that occur in the open world where a zone changes to a conflict zone and you're again competing against others in this PvP nature. Um, and I want to touch on two other things kind of to talk about this massive thing for Throne Liberty. The first is open world bosses that are PvPVE. So this PvX concept where you're with your guild, but there are 10 other guilds, and you're all trying to down the boss, but fighting each other at the same time, having to deal with these kind of different win conditions with come with having to battle other opponents that aren't... <laughs> what a bad fuck. <laughs> Gameplay in the background. <laughs> come on. I could join an EU server, but then I'd have 150 ping. Yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, uh, that's not really what I meant. What I meant is if we can build this... Uh, in the long run, to be a really big one, then of course, uh, E, U, and N, A could join um, the guild, I mean. We could have both in, in the guild, I would think. But then of course, people, only N, A, and E, U could join each other, but in the guild, 
both continents could join the guild. If you get it. But yeah, uh, we have to build it, of course. We have to build it first. It's the boss. Um, and then we have these massive open world dungeons. So you played a demo that was one of our instance dungeons, but we also have open world dungeons. This is a great place for people who like exploring, uh, people who like going deeper into stuff where the challenges, the, the, the mobs and the bosses get harder the further down you go. So lots of really good content, all based around this kind of massive nature of the world. If someone's a more traditional MMO player, how easy is, is it for them to kind of get in and kind of get their bearings for this game? Yeah, I'd say it's pretty easy. Um, it depends on what you like and what you want out of your game. But I believe we have something for everybody. Of course, we have a lot of deep social systems and um, game mechanisms at scale. But if you like exploring or you like um, playing by yourself, you can do those things and throw them. So if people say, ah, it's, it's only PvP, well, fuck them. Because there's not. Liberty as well. Now, you, you mentioned the game is free to play. Is there like a battle pass option, multiple currencies? Like, how, what's the monetization system look like? Yeah, Throne and Liberty is a free to play game. Um, and we really pride ourselves on offering um, personal expression. And so a lot of our business model is based around cosmetics, weapon skins, armor skins. Uh, and we believe in free and fair monetization. So we don't gate any content uh, with any sort of payment. We do offer a battle pass and we have a leveling pass as well. Uh, if someone Sweet. cares for a more solo experience, are they able to do that, or is this more of a social game? Uh, yeah, there's plenty of things that you can do solo as well. Again, even the developers say there's a lot of stuff to do. A lot, both PvP and PvE. Whether that's just, hey, you want to break from some of the more intense group play combat, or if you're just a solo type of player, there's the exploration side that I mentioned. There's a uh, story questing that you can do, lots of side quests as well, which each have their own kind of mini stories built into that. We have some solo dungeons actually, which are pretty interesting. It's this, uh, imagine you're going through floors of, uh, of challenges and each floor is its own solo boss, uh, where the boss also has unique mechanics, not just DPS checks, which makes it really fun. Uh, puzzles that you have to complete to, to kill the boss, stuff like that. Uh, some time trial challenges, so really a plethora of content that's available for players. Let's go. So both. And new dungeons has come, has been released since, uh, since the beta. And of course, more is coming. There are big PvP aspects about this game. But come on. Come on. Come on. You mentioned... Uh, when I started Guild Wars 2, I played on EU server, but I transferred to NA to play with other people. Yeah. Yeah, I have a, maybe I have to do that too, uh, down the line, but we'll see. Like, I have, uh, like, but my viewers and community are from all over. So, I, I, right now, it's best to be on EU. Like, uh, <laughs> Black Desert Online actually has dungeons. Don't Bla Black Desert have dungeons? Okay, that, that's weird. Huh? <laughs> your title here, like what? What is what is that? Can you elaborate on your title? That's an interesting title. <laughs> yeah, title of head part, uh, third party <laughs> publishing. Yeah, basically, um, we consider third party as games that are made by external developers that Amazon Games brings to the rest of the world. And so, I'm focused on any of our titles that fall into that criteria. Is how, how, is uh, do you guys have to worry about localization? Do you have another team for that? Like, how difficult is that? Because there's a lot of information in a game like this, and having to get it in all different languages and all different regions has got to be a daunting task. Absolutely, and it's not just localization in the sense of traditional translation, although that is a component. Um, but it's also making sure that the game is um, globally adaptable, visually is inclusive. Um, is accessible, and these are all qualities of globalization. So I like to look at it, I, I title it as globalization, not just localization, because there's content reviews and making sure the game is appropriate and hits the marks and the quality bars that we're looking for. You guys mentioned the game is uh, cross-play on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Cross That's good. Progression? That's good. It's just cross-play for now. Um, and it's really great to see PlayStation players playing with PC players in these huge... Uh, that sort of sucks. Uh, there's also a mobile game coming. So how are they going to do that? I don't know. I don't know.
large at scale atmospheres. It's one of the things that we really pride ourselves on. Um, so if you have friends that plan a console, that you can join them in Throne of Liberty. A Let's controller go. interface on an MMO has got to be another daunting task. Can you talk a little bit about that process, making it feel right and tight? Yeah, and it's been a very iterative process for us. And I think it starts first with the philosophy of console at parity with PC. So console hasn't been like a secondary thought. It's always when we add a new system or we add a feature to the game, how does this work on PC? How does this work on console? Um, it's That's pretty good. challenging in some That's situations good. with Throne and Liberty because of the massive numbers of players and targeting and um, how your abilities map to the controller. But we've gone through many cycles, many user focus groups and feedback rounds about how to improve that. And we've seen in recent testing rounds in our closed beta test that um, players are really warming up to the console experience and um, how to use the controller to play TL. Yeah, I, I saw a comment somewhere that they play on PC but they play with the controller because the game works really well with the controller but i'm gonna use mouse and keyboard of course i'm gonna use uh mouse and keyboard uh huh a q 3d style what's that what is that oh we even see pc users using controller to play my last question for you is uh when does the game come out and are you releasing simultaneously in all three platforms yeah, so we have an open beta that's taking place on July 18th uh, through the 23rd, so it's about five days. That will be on all three platforms in North America, EU, South America, and Japan. Those same regions will be available for the full launch, again, on all three platforms on September 17th. And in the meantime, where can they go to for more information about your game, website, Discord, Steam page? Yeah, you should go to playthroneandliberty.com. Uh, that's where we're going to have all of our news articles. You can find all of our socials there as well that you can link to directly from that website. Let's go! Sweet. I'm going to post the link in, uh, in chat, guys. So you can... Uh, uh, so you can watch it, like it, whatever. But yeah. Sweet. Hell to the yeah. Uh, but yeah, AQ3D style. Never heard of that. Never. Let me find, um, there it is. Let's go. Okay. So now we should all agree that there is content for both PvE and PvP players. If that'll work well for the game, I don't know. But the siege thing. Don't um, Guild Wars 2 have something like that? Like, I'm not that far into the game that I, I know. This can't be any worse than uh, Dragon S4 Sims Edition. Ha. Huh. No. Of course not. So yeah, let, let's start up the game. And let's play some Throne and Liberty. If it'll um, start. And welcome guys, welcome all to the Viking stream, it's awesome to see you, it's awesome to see you indeed. So let's start, um, I don't know where to have the camera, maybe on the right side. It may not be implemented in the same way, okay, hmm. exciting though. Exciting. 
Exciting. Welcome to Throne and Liberty. You can set whether or not to use the game access voice guide. When activated, the guide will lead you to join no, no, the no, game. No, 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 stop. Just stop talking. Thank you. Holy shit. Shade optimization is in progress to foster better gameplay experience. Wow. Well, that takes a while. How the hell am I supposed to accept this? When so some of it is English, other stuff is German. The hell is that? That's, that's weird. Okay, I, I pressed graphics. There we are. Okay. Uh, there, performance. Reflect, yeah, on plus boost. What the hell is that? I, I, there's so much technology stuff. I, I have no idea about high resolution from low resolution inputs. No, we don't need that. Quality, epic. Sweet. I, I want to go for 120, but I don't think, uh, Let's see if it uh, it'll work that way. Okay. Performance accept. Uh, what the hell? Whoa. Okay. Uh, with separate character and camera controls, a crosshair displayed in the middle of the screen, and you can control. Ah, okay. Switch to cloud. Okay, so V. Okay, sweet. Sweet. Just press V. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> world uh, versus world. One of the big selling points of Guild Wars 2 is... Uh, it's cool to see a game taking inspiration. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Native Korean. No. <laughs> oh, farm. Uh, well, we can change that. Like, I, I don't want it too bright. For me, that's very bright. Is 60 okay for you guys? I'm not going to play it on Korean. No. No, I'm not. But is 60 okay? Yeah. I would think it is. You can turn it up if you if you need that. Blood, yes. Graphics, yes. Agree. Wow. Enter. Okay. Uh wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, so th it was this one and one on P, but that is actually gone. Wow. One on P didn't work. No, uh, there was this and one on P, but the P is gone. Damn. Okay. The star of Sylveth. It is said to be the seal stone containing Sylveth, goddess of destruction. This magical star of destruction was shattered into pieces all across the world. And those who were born with this fragment were called the Starborn. In 1192, during an age of conflict, the Archean commander Khazar sought to use the power of the star fragments as a tool of war. The wizard Jan Junith sent Kalantia, a witch, to the remote island where Starborn were hiding.
Okay. Exciting. Fire! Oh, no! We must protect the children at all costs. We <laughs> must protect the children. Is that us? The kid? I would think it is. Okay, that happened. That was awesome. Uh, I'm sorry, child. <laughs> Damn. We got the power. That was us. That was us. No. Hell yeah. Okay. Lighting. Oh, yes. This will definitely, um, oh, oh, yes. I choose option to sacrifice the children and become slaves. Hey, how come? What? Is it good or bad? Dark. We just started it. I don't know. Okay, let's... Uh, I've learned something. Start with it. Hair and beard. Type? No, 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 no. L let me pick. Let me pick. I just... Oh, okay. I just came in. Yeah, w w if, you, if you look. Look. We on the creative character, character creation. So, um, okay. No, it's got to be that one. Mm. Can we have that a little darker? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. What oh, oh, contrasting? Hold on. What? What the hell is that? Opacity. Pretty boy, much in that face. Yeah, fuck that face. Fuck that face. I'm not gonna look that lot like that. Fuck no. Will I learn something? That start with the beard first. And the hair. Uh but I mean uh wow. Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know, guys. It gotta be that one. But that face, though. <laughs> that face. Holy shit. That face. Okay. 
Looks like a young, frail Viking before he had kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know. Okay, forget that. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Ooh. Okay. No, I'm gonna... Uh, yeah. Let's, uh... Narrow face? I mean, come on. Round face, long face. There. Uh, gloss. <laughs> Shiny! What is this? Recommend calls for skin? Bones. That um, that'll be a problem. Maybe not cheekbones, but um, angle. Uh, what sucks in this though? He doesn't talk. Our character. They do that in uh, Guild Wars too, but not in this. As far as I know, this kind of sucks. Okay, what the hell is? Oh yeah, yeah, it, it goes inwards. What if I do this? Ah. Okay. Inner height. Holy shit. In with, 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 with. Okay. Come on, depth. Okay. Okay, front cheek. Can we even see what? Well, it helped with this face. Because the other one was, fuck no. Temple. Oh yeah, it's there. Ooh, okay. Here we are. Jaw. But yeah, dark, dark. How's everything with uh, with work and uh, life? You know. I know you've been having. We don't need to talk about it if you don't want to. Of course, I'm just asking. Okay, right now, I think we just turn off the beard. Um, just so... Uh, there. So if I turn that off, it will still have... Yeah, okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. The hell? Oh yeah, yeah, is this? Yeah, fifteen is uh, no, huh? Gotta be fifteen is. Okay, let's have fifteen. Uh, lateral depth. Holy shit, there's so much. And height, that's probably the front. I don't know, maybe it's better to watch from the side. There we go. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, my man. Calm down. So guys, what have been what have you been eating and drinking today, huh? Height was okay. Why why did I do anything about that? We had Taku! No we didn't. That was yesterday. Uh we had pizza. Why am I messing with the height again? Come on, with there we are. Oh yeah, you can't tell from the side, of course. Okay. Yeah, a 12. Okay. Uh, that was bone, right? Yeah, and then jaw, yes. And now chin! Let's go! From the side. <laughs> Damn. Height. Uh, not too much. Not too much. There. Sweet. Uh, let's put on the beard again. Not the greatest choices, but yeah, it is what it is. I cooked up some salmon and gave it to my dog and and then ate my dog. Uh, how come? <laughs> I mean, god damn. Perfect. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> Crazy mofo. Maraud, welcome. No, let's just... There we are. Okay. Uh, there we are. Type. Oh. Oh, that's... Oh, that's... Oh. Okay, nothing. Let me see. What the hell is that? Well, that's the same. Okay, let's just have there. Uh, size. Okay, size is 24. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, okay. Let's have it at 24. Damn. What if I... No, let's have it at 24. I don't know. Now it, it, it looks weird. What's normal though? Okay, it's 31, so 15 is... Okay. Yeah, well, let's have it there. Surf it, surf! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Both sides. Pupil. 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 Four. That's four. Holy shit. Can change a lot. Well, pupil, that depends on the light, though. <laughs> like, yeah, how the hell can you pick that when. That depends on the light. Whoa! Holy shit! God damn! Okay, at least you, you, you get to make uh, the character you want. Okay, sixteen is in the middle. Okay, not fifteen. Sixteen. Okay. I mean, 16 was uh, okay as is, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's pick 14. Dep. Fuck, I love when there's so many choices. I love it! Size? Wait, okay, what, what's up? Uh, aperture? Oh, okay, how much is 
eyes are open. Damn. Eye length. That's gotta be... Eye length? Oh, that's also the sides. Okay. Wow. Wow. Huh? How deep is the customization in this game? Uh, it, it's... God damn. Huh? Duct... What the hell? Oh, that that is... Whoa! That's a lot. This is small, tiny details. So, you get to make the character you want, without a doubt. Slant? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. 16. Eye slant? No, 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 no. 16. Duck height. Sixty. Yeah, well, you can change the actual size of the eyes. That's when you know it's deep. Yeah. <laughs> Eyelids upper. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Out. Okay. In or down? What the hell? Out or down? <gasps> Oh, God damn. This crazy eyebrow. Okay. And awesome that they have, like, a template that you can choose from if you don't want to jump too much into it. But holy, I love this. Okay, how, how, uh, not this though. So if I press that, okay, okay. There? Yeah, uh, can have thickness. Okay. We can change the body type too. Holy shit, in the height. In the width. <laughs> Whoa, inner end. Huh? What the hell am I gonna. Ah. Oh. It looks way better now than it did uh, when we first started. External whip. Holy shit. Okay. Outer end. I don't know. Let, let's just have that on 16. Okay, sweet. Okay, now it's the nose. Nose detail. No. Okay, length. Length. Oh, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Th that was on nine, wasn't it? Okay. Look at it. Height. Oh. And the music is supposed to be very good. And so far, it got to MS. I saw someone... Uh, It's still very loud, isn't it? Uh, someone compared the music to uh, Harry Potter. You kind of get that feel. Okay. Ah. Okay. There we are.
On the fence about getting this. Hey, Drusian. Yeah, I'm, I'm still on... Uh, on the character creation. <laughs> but uh, I, I've seen a lot of videos. And uh, yeah, it, for me, it looks good. Uh, what the hell? Guys, why did I go to nose? Yeah, there. Uh, yeah, we'll change that. Yeah, nose there. Let, let's close this. Here we are. Brow height. There. But I mean, the cat creation is just immensely detailed. Immensely detailed. Bone height. So if you really want to create yourself or just someone else, then I mean this is you can you can do that. No trouble angle now nostril size. I usually make them a little. Uh, I make them smaller usually. Okay, here we are. Mouth. Yeah, preset. Just get away. Details. Okay. Height. There we go. Yeah, Trushan, have you played any MMOs before? That's a mouth. Okay. Then zoom a little out. Oh yeah, he looks he looks good. He looks a little tired though. Okay. Length. Uh, maybe turn off the... Oh, I forget. Okay. Forget it! Like, no, 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 that was there. What the hell? Oh, yeah. I think maybe... How do we... There. Uh, bear, there. And we were at the mouth. So let's, um... There. Lip angle. Uh, crazy, huh? Oh yeah, tons. Oh, sweet. Which ones? I, I started Guild Wars 2, uh... Last week. No, this week. Was it this week? Oh, I forget. My first ever MMO. MMORPG. Yeah. And I've, uh, I'm hooked. Really good. And the character is voiced in this. It's not. Lower width. Okay. Width. Width. With the... There. Okay. Let's put on the beard again. Uh, that was the mouth. Sweet. Ears. I have really small ears, so... Let's make them small, but not too small. Angle. Ah! Let's have that. Yep. Yeah. Makeup. Nope. Eyelashes. War paint. I, I don't know if I want to do that. But if there's uh, scars, that would be sweet, but... No, no scars. It, that's a little fucked. I feel like th there's something about the eyes. He looks a little tired. Um... Size? Okay, that's 15. No, it, it, it's not the size. Height eyelids? Could it be the eyelids? Uh, 
outer could actually be, to be honest. I don't know if it looks different, but it looks good. Okay, now the body. Can I remove the clothes? Wow, ESL New World EverQuest, just to name a few. Wow, okay. Okay, shit. Let's go. Height, 21. I mean, upper body. Yeah, but let me... Oh, yeah, there. Outfits. Okay. Wow. I, I like this one. I like this one. Holy shit. Yeah. Head size. What the fuck? 14. Ha! Neck. Okay. Uh, neck length. Shoulder size. But that's hard with clothes on. How the hell am I gonna... Huh? Love MMOs? Okay, that armor looks fresh. It does. I is the music very loud? Holy shit. I feel like it is. God damn. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, the graphics... Oh, like graphics isn't everything, but... God damn, it looks good in this game. Shoulder position. Shoulder size. Like, take it off. <laughs> it's so much easier if I can just take it off. Holy shit, I, I don't know how you look. Like, come on. Bicep size? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How the hell? There's gotta be a way. Huh? Okay. So, uh... I think that's it. Designer presets. Easy face maker. Okay. Change. Yeah, appearance edit. Okay, that's it. Shares appearance. Easy. I, 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 I don't want to. Design a preset. No, uh, no, no. Let's not. Let's not. I could. Maybe there's another one. Oof. No, I, I'm going to use this armor though. Like, I have no idea if I do this. Waist size. Oh, maybe. Like there. Pelvis. Like th this one is odd. He has clothes on, for fuck's sake. Tie? Thigh? How the hell? He's supposed to be a little bulky, but not too much. Okay. Uh, bicep. Yeah, look at the biceps. Okay. Like, it, 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 how does that help? Huh? It doesn't. Okay, let's take the hands. Yeah, let's just keep that at. Let's say 17. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done. It looks good. But uh, I wish we could uh, compare the heights. You know, how tall is he really? Because in Guild Wars 2, I made him very... Uh, well... A lot more. Uh, not very, but a lot more... Um, well, shorter than uh, normal. Uh, 
I mean... <laughs> Something looks off in this lighting. But I don't know what. So I don't know what to fix. Maybe here. It, 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 not that he looks sick or anything. It's just that he looks so fucking tired. Okay, eight. Oh yeah, a pupil. Fuck. No, I don't think I can do anything there. Uh, maybe that's on uh, cheekbones. Okay, angle is fourteen. Uh. Okay. Okay, that's a inner height. No, that's... Let's put that on. Okay, and that's eight. No, okay. Uh, I think we just should just start. 19. Hmm. Okay, in the depth. 12. Okay. Barely see any difference. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, I really don't see what else we can do. But he looks fire in this though. But a little darker. He looks... I don't know. Something's off. This? Yeah, okay. But he looks worse the darker it gets. That's on lighting though. But if he gets light straight on his face, yeah. That is on this side. Straight, yeah, on the side. And this is more on... Uh, in the back. I don't know, guys. Uh, maybe we can change the appearance. As time goes on. But right now... I, th I think we have him ready. I think he's ready. Um, can I save him? Share appearance. You can save a load. Yeah. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that did. Design a preset. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. okay. That's good. So you can pick another appearance if you want to. You don't have to make. Okay. No, but uh, let's talk, guys. Gaze follows cursor. Oh, hold on. Uh, okay, that didn't work. What the hell? Why can't I? Okay, that's weird. Ah, you can't. Okay. Oh, yeah! Sweet! Come on, my dude! Get out of there! Okay. Yeah, e select the top. Okay. Uh, okay. while attacking. Okay. Fragment. Okay. We need to get out of here. Oh. Uh holy shit, guys. The sensitivity when you control. I got to do something about that. Where do I Why is it in uh Guys, it's in German. I, I fuck. I don't understand German. It 
settings guys what the fuck is going on settings i'm pressing settings oh there so um where the hell guys language yeah english that is weird what the hell it says english but uh, it's in uh, goddamn <laughs> it's <laughs> it's in german camera smoothing no rotation speed camera rotation speed okay so let's bump that up to uh, 183 Okay, that's still not... Not enough. It gotta be this one though, right? Okay, there. Okay. Oh, that's too much. Le more. Oh, yeah, more. More, 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 more. Let's uh, do that on 191. Or something. Okay. Okay, let me turn that off. Okay. Huh. Okay. Rotate camera. Switch. Yes. Finish the tutorial. Sweet. Okay, can I walk? No? Okay. No, stop uh, okay. Oh, yeah, Q to defense. Okay. Takes a little time to get used to. Okay, two. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Wow. Okay, yeah, the sensitivity, I gotta move that up. If I'm gonna play it on uh, with this. There, I, I gotta be quick. Qua, qua, qua! I don't know. Press Y. Okay. Fight with a different weapon. Wow. Okay. Uh change weapons I, I think i have why seems so awaken the wild power and the star fragment and uh what the hell is this So do I do I have to run? Oh yeah, I just run. Okay. Your health is health health is slow.
This is epic. This is epic. Holy shit, this looks good. Combat is a little... Maybe I just have to get used to it. Hurry up and run. Your star fragment is... The music is... Holy balls! After all these years, the memory of that day returned like a nightmare. Okay, but but this still feels slow. No. Okay, here we go. Can I? Oh yeah, okay. Who goes there? Oh yeah, uh, name. Uh, but is that username? Or is it name on the character, same as, um... You know. It, it says name. So probably just name and not username. I, I would think. Because you can have four letters. Fifteen letters, four to fifteen. All letters only. Oh, okay. It's not a username. It's not a username. Yeah, character name in case you make multiple characters. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it says letters only. So, uh, so, um, yeah. Um, if, uh, what do we call him? We got to make up a name. G. No. Sure. No. Mm. Yeah, maybe, maybe something on G. We gotta make up a name because people have probably, yeah, picked something normal. <laughs> Vuran. I'll help you. Yeah. Whoa, are oh, you alright? Did you have that nightmare again? Yeah, it's awful. Please, don't feel guilty. The Elder wouldn't want you to feel this way forever. <laughs> Come on, why don't you go out and get some fresh air? Oh, right. Lottie just left to go to Moonshade Town. You should follow her. <laughs> Come along with me. I'd love to come with, but... Running makes my arm hurt. I'll bet Lottie morphed. If you want to catch up to her, you'll have to morph too. Ooh, okay. Ah, oh, that Lottie. She didn't take the map again. Can you take it to her? Yeah. I drew up the map because she asked for it too. Um. Okay. 
No available content. Okay. Pick up the map on the table. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, look at FPS uh, when we're in the map. Damn. Okay. All right, let's get going. Yeah, let's. Okay. Go and, to those stairs but there. why? If you want to catch up to Lottie, you'd better hurry. Um. Yeah, I, I definitely can't have why. To change to weapons. To Lottie, you'd better hurry. What, what is tab? Yeah, to ch I, I can't have why. We gotta do something there. Uh, Go to those stairs over there, quickly. Oh, oh, we are in controls. Okay. So how do I change my keybinds? Controls. If you want to catch up to Lotte, you'd better hurry. In shortcuts? What the f Okay. Oh, you saw, oh, you saw mouse cursor in action mode. Ah, that's old. Ah, better okay. What? Oh, yeah, okay. So I, I, I just, ah. No, I don't know. I, I think I'll just turn it off and then on again. But that's, oh, if you want that's. To catch up to Lotte, you'd better hurry. I don't know. That's uh, annoying sound can i turn that off if you want to catch up to lotte you'd better hurry that would be great uh play echo use no you can't okay if you want to catch up to lotte you'd better okay. hurry Defense, yeah, change target, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. If you want to catch up to Lottie, you summon guardian. Hurry. Okay, so maybe I need need to have it on. What is the middle mouse though? Voice input. Is that middle mouse? If you want to catch up to Lottie, you'd better hurry. No, it, it's not. The hell, which button is that? Swap weapon. Well, I can have this. If you want to catch up to Lotte, you'd better hurry. Piece of my character. Okay, let's try that. Here we are. You can catch up with her if you go now. Okay, sweet. Here we go. Go to those stairs over there, quickly. <clears throat> Holy shit! Huh? Beautiful. It looks like maybe I have to... Hold on. Okay. Speak with Lottie in the fortress, okay? Today. <laughs> okay, main menu. Okay. Codex. When you opened the door to find Benny, he was very concerned that your nightmares had returned. He suggested that you follow his friend Lottie to Moonshade Town. Is, the co is everything in the codex voiced? Huh? Okay, speak with Lot in uh, Fortress Aaron. Yeah, okay. Wow. Okay, codex is J, skills is K.
We start with a lot of um, abilities out of the gate. I don't know if I like that, but... Teleports to an available point. You can also enter escape in chat to teleport. Okay. And chat is just enter. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. There we go, guys. F indicates the target you need to talk to. Okay. Sweet. Uh, I want to see if there's... Um, if I can walk. Probably not, though. Just a small little detail with you. Hey, Lottie! Adventurer! Why are you here? Ah, oh, I was just about to go back and get it. Ah, oh, shit. Thanks. I-I-I press the button. Uh, why are you going to Moonshade Town? Oh, I need to repair something in Crescent Town. Since you're here already, do you want to go to the training grounds with me? It's been a while since you've seen some action. What if we're uh, late? I'm sure it's nothing too serious or urgent. Besides, today is the day when Gigantrite passes by Wisperian. Wisperian will be full of energy today. So let's take it easy. Why don't you take this chance to try out a different weapon? You can't keep using that broken sword forever. Then we can go to Moonshade Town. What do you say? Nah, let's I go. say yes. But. Uh, where is it? Sound effects. Voice. I'm going to try and put that on 90. Here we go. Broken. Be careful, my friend. Seems like Clay is here too, given the special occasion. Hey. Oh, where are you headed? You seem nervous. Okay, uh, open the resistance weapon chest near the war supplies manager. Okay. Is it Moonshade Town or S uh, Crescent Town? She said both. Oh, she did? Yeah, yeah she did say two names, that's true. Uh, really don't feel like working today. That's true. <laughs> there we go. What is this? Where the massive okay. divine beast called Gigantrite comes by. Gigantrite is really, really big. <laughs> He's really big. Is that a whale? What are you doing? Let's go inside. Yeah, let's go. I'm surprised to see anyone here today. Want to try out some weapons? Like, I'm thinking... Wouldn't it be... Uh, at least right now... Maybe it's better to have... The camera up... There, instead? Huh? We've prepared all kinds... Okay. Open the chest. Oh, you're new to these weapons, right? Let me teach you. Well, yeah. I'm sure you already know you can equip up to two weapons. Mm -hmm. Try out different weapons and find a weapon that you like. And this is sword. Mm -hmm. Sword and shield then. Dagger, no. Longbow, yes. Crossbow, staff. One, no. A great sword. I, I got a feeling for for great sword. No, uh, but uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I usually I pick. Ah, huh? open the menu. Okay, character. Okay. So that was P, I think. Okay, use the right panel. Okay. Yeah, sweet. Strength, yeah. Okay. Uh, that was P. Yeah, morph. Dash. That was Saber. Okay, yeah. Uh, 
I have this one. But there's something you gotta do. I don't remember what. Okay, glide. Yeah, that is awesome though. Huh? Okay, sweet. Swim. Are you fucking kidding? So I'm this? I'm this character? Special? Say shape shift. <laughs> that is awesome! <laughs> Okay. A ball. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's cool. That's cool. When you change weapons, you will need to reconfigure your skills. Ah. Okay. On defending uh, against an enemy's fear attack with a defense skill. Okay. Each weapon activates a special effect. When triggered active skills can attack the enemies. Okay, yeah, that I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, passive skills. Yes. Yes. Normal skills. Yes. Okay. Nearby practice dummy. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I ch so I changed in here. Oh yeah, yeah, right there. I didn't see that. Oh, that's nice. I can just right click. Okay, let me uh, let me try. Hold on. Cable skills, yeah. So I gotta drag that over there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, that, that's annoying. You gotta press it first and then drag it. And then drag it. Okay. Okay. Uh, but I think I want these on the left. Okay. Or just hold it. Oh yeah, hold it first. Okay. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's try. Oh, you like that weapon? It suits you. Okay, that's lock on. Okay. Huh. Ah. There. Okay, so I, it seems like I used uh, the shield more than anything else. But okay, a skill use by directing it. Okay, uh, you can use skill against the current target. Okay. Yeah, so what's the difference between... Oh yeah, so if I do this and then press... Ah, okay, so now... Yeah, now I just marked it, so if I do this and then two... No, four. 
Okay, he still does it. Hmm. Yeah, now that just marked the target. Okay. So if I press the stand here and then just this way. No, it's not possible. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it, it autos. That, that's nice. That's nice. So if I does it once. Okay. Okay, that's sweet. Just press attack once and it just automatically. Uh, it does it. Uh, okay. But I don't know. Because. Hmm. It would be great to know how. It's got to be a better way to change different loadouts, huh? I would think. Okay. Huh? Quick slot three, yes. So let me see. Five, six, seven. Okay. Two, three, four. and set huh? okay so it, it's got to be uh a lot how many can i have equipment and set ah okay it's not no 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 okay it's not this. Quick slot one, two, three. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's basically this. Okay. Wow. I mean, how the hell are we going to do that? No, so it's just better to go in then. I, I think. There, and then just do this. Like, how often am I going to do that, right? I, I feel like the weapons... Hmm. This is more focused on... Uh... On attack. Hmm. But at the same time. And P, right? I think it's P. Yeah. I really like this. With a shield. I do. I like this way more. Okay. Here we go. Do more. We're going to Moonshade Town. Leave Fortress Aaron. We're following Lottie. You'll have a good view of Whisperian on the way too. 
Yeah! I'm ready. Oh, I'm so ready. Let's go into the world. What the? F okay, so everyone can change? Should we hurry? The hell is hurry? Whenever Gigantrite visits Whisperian, the town buzzes with excitement and energy. During such an event, you and Lottie left Whisperian's fortress to visit Moonshade Town. Wow. What's going on here? Let's go and check it out. I'll go over first. Follow me with your piton and grappling hook. Huh? Yeah, but uh, we got uh, there's something. Climb over with the grappling hook. Okay. The watchtower was destroyed by an attack. Uh. Although the path was Let's not go. locked, you and uh. I made use of the piton and your grappling hooks yes. to continue onward. It looks like the cart was destroyed by artillery. Yeah. But I um I got to see how we because I have the early access stuff. Uh redeem early access uh mount Okay. It's a uh, it's very weird, but yeah You have to redeem them even though you have them Okay, so uh, mm -hmm. Just after you yeah Okay Will be granted to you automatically just after character. No, you won't have to speak to an NPC or claim some. Okay, it'll just r be right there in your account. In addition, every re reward included in these packs is account wide. Wide. Uh, that is not true though. That is not true. Turn on Steam Overlay and restart the game. Okay, hold on guys. I'm not gonna... Um, I, I thought I had it on. Yes, yeah, Steam overlay, overlay shortcut. Yes, yeah, Shift tab. Okay, I, I I'm just gonna look for. Okay. How the hell do we get them? Uh, okay. Okay. Where the hell does it say how you get them though? So let's go in the early access. It's so weird that you have to do all this. Yeah, it's mostly negative because people think you don't get it. But you do get them. Where the hell does it say you have to? Guys! What the hell? How do we get the, 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 the stuff? I, I want them now! Okay. Okay. Yep. 
Inventory? No? Oh, I hate this. Why is that so hard? Some are saying you have it in your account, but where the hell is this then? I have this. Sorry, guys. Uh. Okay, how to? Oh, oh there, there. We have a video. We have a video. Sweet. And then from here you want to right and fight. And then that's here. And from here you want to right and That is fucked though. It, it, it's supposed to be. Off to complete. Oh, oh, okay. So it said the tutorial was done. It's not. Okay, okay. Well, that's awesome. There we are. That makes sense. So that reminds me of uh then get to Moonshade Town. Yeah, let's go. Look for an opening for a counter attack. Who could have done something so horrible? We use the pulley, we'll reach let's go. the town in no time. Let's go. Whispering uh, a meat toy? I mean, <laughs> huh? What the hell? Oh, oh, how do I catch it? Well, that was three. Okay. Sweet. Holy shit. Four. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. Ah. Huh? Okay. Yeah, I think everyone can change. But it, I don't think it's ever explained. This can't be happening. Hey. The pulley lift is broke. We can't get to Hesperian with this. Let's think of another way. This lift would let us cross with Spirian to get to Moonshade Town. It's the only way to get there without a boat. This is bad. Bermats is here. Maybe he has an idea. I will try to find a way. You go ahead and take care of the injured. Sweet. Bermats, oh, can you fix this? Oh, Well, between the two of us, we'll have it fixed in no time. Shall we get started? Wait, I can... Where the hell are you? Help, there is a soldier in need of aid nearby. Yeah. Uh, where are you? I heard you. Where are you? Well, let's. If they wait for Gigantroids visit. We've got a big. We've got a. Okay. Where the hell did he go? Where did he go? Wow. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Help me. Thank you. Whisperian was hit too. Can you check it out? Please see what's happening near Whisperian. Okay. I'll do that. Hey! What you want? 
sweet. Awesome. Holy shit, let's go! Okay. Ah! Woo! I defeated the Black Mitrans that appeared on your way to Asperian. While Asperian was still intact, a broken pulley lift prevented you from reaching Moonshade Town. Suddenly, a mysterious being bathed in light appeared and led you to the top of the great tree. I only met the one I've been waiting for. I'm so happy. What, what happened? Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen either. But we're able to meet because your special power has reacted to Whisperion. Whisperion. <laughs> First, let's go and teach a lesson to those building in Whisperion. The lift has collapsed and can't be used. Well, you can get there with your glide morph. Usually for Starborn, it's second nature. It's all right. I will help you. Give me a moment. Ta-da! Okay. Bald eagle. So just... F. Okay. Just run and fly to the skies. Okay. Uh, you can glide in by pressing the space. Okay. Oh, ascend. Mother, yeah. Clay, there are still people in the town. Oh, not good. We need to rescue them. Hurry. On move, Kyra. It's too risky to move our troops now. Wow. Okay. Damn it! With the pulley destroyed, reinforcements can't reach us. Is there some way? Oh, some oh to descend. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Now oh, this is awesome. Hey, Clay. You? How did you get here? I thought the pulley lift was broken. Oh, I'm at the Whispering Amitoy and. Understand what you're saying, but if you got here with the glide morph, you must have the power of a star fragment. I hear that those with the power of a star fragment can communicate with mysterious entities. Ah, forgive me. My name is Clay Carter from the Resistance. For some reason, you seem kind of familiar. I'm a survivor from the invasion ten years ago. Oh, I see. You escaped with me. I'm glad to see you. I did. Safe. But now's hardly the time to chat. For now, will you lend us your strength? Yes, let's do this. Thank you. Captain Kyra and I will fight the Archeum forces on this side and find a way to get in. We'll need you to go into town and rescue the residents with the resistance. Okay, I understand. Please be careful. When this is over, let's be Sweet. sure to meet again. After arriving on top of the great <laughs> off 
after arriving on top of the great tree, the mysterious being taught you how to use a glide morph. Once you descended from the tree, you met Clay, a resistance leader. He asked for your help protecting the residents from the Archeum Legion and invading orcs. Okay, here we go. Um... Oh, so I can't really use shift. I've opened up a path for you. Now go. Okay, I, I I can't use shift because that is some. Take with spirit and star fragment and capture all who bear the power of the stars. Hmm. Okay. With this, Kazar will have to recognize Zaroth. You skill on self. I can't use shift. Hmm. Well, I can, but then it's... Fun. Okay. Oh, 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 okay, okay, so that is, ooh. See? No. Thank you. No problem. Here we go. Ah oh, shit! Ah oh, shit! I, I gotta be better at that thing. Come on! Too late, too late. I'm doing it too late. I've got this. Okay. Fear of fury. Damn. Yeah. You brought your star fragment right to us. Now die so we can take your star fragment. Come on. Damn. Okay, the combat is a little off. I'll clear the way here as well. Please stand aside. Spear of Fury. But I think we just gotta be, uh, get used to it, and of course, you know. Just, um... Upgrade and stuff. Yeah, you, you don't find this in Guild Wars 2, that's for sure. Holy shit! Oh yeah, and then ah, oh, okay, sweet. Okay, so Q, you roll with Q, sweet. Come on. We really win. 
No, we definitely can't have um Can't have shift. No shift. To, that's for sure no like i'm not gonna do that i will never forgive you okay come down shit This is the power of a rampaging star fragment. A lot better than I thought it would be. I mean, damn. <gasps> I'm sorry. the hell can we be hey hey almost the same up. age that's strange i wasn't told about any serious injuries <clears throat> hey are you awake do you recognize me yeah i do hello buddy oh, nice you wait here <laughs> i'll call the healer now <laughs> yeah call the healer do that <laughs> <laughs> oh damn I lost everything here 10 years ago now challenges the might of the arcane legion starborn bravery and determination forged in celestial fire wow wow hey finally awake what a relief! I was worried that you wouldn't wake up! Oh, I mean, what happened? Don't you remember? You blasted that orc away with the star fragment's power? Uh, sorry, I don't remember. Really? Your body started glowing purple all of a sudden? Then you smashed that orc's eye with your axe. That orc went BOOM! In a flash of purple. It was amazing! But you feel alright? My, uh, my right arm feels a little strange. Really? Maybe you use too much of the Star Fragment's power? Well, let's go and ask Clay. He said he wanted to talk to you. Sweet. Did 
Damn. Okay. Are you in any condition hey. to move? I'm yeah. on my way with the healer. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> Can be used after compl oh, the tutorial isn't done yet. Okay. Hey, Lottie. What happened? Do you have any idea how worried I was? What? I'm sorry for worrying you. I thought something happened. I mean, you? how the hell did we get friends so fast? Clay we just met her. Inside. So hurry up and go see him. As far as I know, at least. No! If the pulley wasn't broken, I would have kicked way more ass. <laughs> Kicked way oh, more eyes. Took down that giant orc alone. That's crazy. Seriously, nobody else could put a dent in that beast. <laughs> Did you Damn. see that purple glow at the time? I'm glad we won and everything. But something feels off. <laughs> Come okay. on. What's the worst that could happen? We won, and that's all that matters. Yeah, uh, but we def morph. <laughs> Light, yeah, bald eagle. Yeah, but I mean, uh, what I need is okay. So this doesn't work. The shift thing. That that is just no. Huh? That's weird. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just have it like that for now. Hey. Okay, speak with Clay inside the dawn spire. Okay. Clay is waiting for you. You're finally awake. Come this way. Yeah, I'm here. Hello, Clay. Thanks to your defeat of King Vert, we were able to fight off the Archeum. The portal in the sky has closed as well. I don't remember what happened. We were about to be killed by King Vert when your star fragment went into a frenzy and overwhelmed the enemy. If you hadn't been able to defeat him, none of us would have survived. I'm thankful the Elder protected you ten years ago, so that today we could stand together to defend Wisp Island. Speaking of which, I'm sure you feel guilty over what happened to the Elder. You didn't cause his death. You should know that. Please, don't blame yourself. <laughs> I'll try to think about it that way. That said, are you alright? Your power, it's clearly too dangerous to leave as is. When a Star Fragment's power overloads like that, it takes a heavy toll on the bearer's body. It could even kill you. Carrying such a powerful Star Fragment makes you a target for the Archeum, too. A decade ago, Kazar and Kalanthia invaded this island precisely to steal that power for themselves. That power is unpredictable when it's in a frenzy. It will hurt innocent bystanders who get too close. Well, what should be done? I have a friend named Martine in Castleton, a town in Lasland. She's researching the effects of star fragments. I believe she can help you. Here, take my token. Show this to the storage manager named Melky, and he will help you. Got it. When you are ready to leave, touch Luna Zero's head to temporarily enhance your glide ability. That should get you all the way to Castleton. Hm. I wish you all the best. Touch the head. Touch the head. Always together. Okay. Let me touch your head then. Huh? Okay, let's do it again. So lame. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Let's glide.
I'm gonna grant help me. <laughs> help me. So original. Okay. Help me. Yeah, the music is got is so good in this game. I really uh, like right now the stuff I played up until this point. I really hope this game does well, but I like. I hope it only gets better. It's so good, guys. So far, so far. Depends on the grind. If the grind is shit. Mm. <laughs> Kill him. Wow. Thanks to the star fragment's power. What an intro. Safe for now. It's so fucked. That it's it. It's in uh Ugh. German. Kebab language? Yeah. Let me just uh I have this on in case there's... I don't want you to see any contact details. I'm just going. Maybe I have to. Uh, okay. Okay, enter the code from your game link to your... Okay. Uh... <sighs> I don't know. Okay. Where the fuck can't I sign in? Okay. Okay. Can't find an Amazon Games ID to this Amazon account? What the fuck? How? How can't you do the Hold on guys Couldn't match but but I have an ID so what the f Yeah allow That is so fun. Uh, Amazon games. <laughs> it said log in, but I, I mean, I'm logged in. Okay. Uh, About. 
Um, settings. Okay. Well, if it doesn't work, then I just have to forget it. But it's just so weird that... Uh, We weren't able to find an Amazon Games ID. Okay. Well, let me uh, create the account then. Huh? It, it doesn't make sense. But okay. Uh... Yule Blues. Uh, no, that's usually around September. It is. But yeah, it's very early. It is. Stop puzzle. St <laughs> Solve this puzzle to create your account. Pick the apple. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Too early though. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, okay. Follow the instruction. Hold on, guys. I'm just going to create an account and then uh, we'll continue. Just have to go in the mail. Verify email. Let's go. Yo, you verified your email. Okay. You get shit for make one or do you have to? No, no, no. I, I get shit. Exactly, I get shit. <laughs> no, uh, or else I could just wait. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Viking, there we go. Uh, yes. You're linked. Your game will update shortly. Okay. Well, let's see then. Hope the serves are ready on the first. Take out to restart the game. Because what I get is uh is this I have to restart the game, guys. Hold on. How you like this game? I can't wait to play this. It's really good. So far, it's really good. Yeah. I really like it. Doofy! Welcome. I really like it. I haven't played that much. I spent like 30 minutes, 30, around 30 minutes creating the character. I've been waiting a year for this game. Yeah, it, it looked really good. And then I uh, I started playing Guild Wars 2 just to get a sense of uh, the MMO shit. And um, yeah, now I'm playing this. Uh, I want to do PvP areas. Yeah. The PvP focus is the only thing I dislike. Yeah. But uh, we went through this at the start of the stream. And uh, it's not that as bad as you... Uh, you think it is. Lots to learn and how you want to play it. Yes.
There we are. Okay. Collect. Uh, retrieve. Yes. Collect. Yes. Uh, no respond. Okay. Let me just, in case some details comes forward. I I don't want that. Okay. Ah, there we are. Sweet. Collect. Yes. Sweet. Coupon? I, I don't have a coupon. Oh, yeah. Ah. So... Okay, so, uh, okay. Morph. Cute. Add. Glide. Uh, how the hell do I get this? Holy shit. Hold on. Is... Is this... In one of the special editions? Fuck. Guys. Hold on. Hold on. Is this what in one of the special editions? If it is, if it is, Shadow, Arthur, Swan, Wolf, Line, uh, Ultimate. Is an ultimate. Is this also an ultimate? Shadow of Farm. Well, okay. <sighs> what what other glides do they have though? That's the fucking only dragon, guys. 700? I know. It's expensive. But it's a lot more expensive now that I uh, chose the standard edition. If I want to upgrade, well... Okay. So basically, I I really don't need. Uh... Okay. But is it possible to only buy this one? Because the other ones are okay. Like that, I don't want that one. That is just too fucked. I don't want that. Can't you farm for this? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's why I'm, uh... Are you kidding me? Hold on, what is this? Celebration pack? Ooh. Because my plan was to buy the standard edition and then buy this one. Loosen. Thousand. 
Uh, this cost 500. What do we get in uh, view more? Okay, here we are. Earn points. The oh, fuck? How do I earn points? I, I just... Okay, defeat monsters. Okay. Okay. It seems shit. How long does it last? 32? Okay. Hmm. Wow. Holy shit. Season. Okay. What the hell is this? Solent? What is that? Solent. Oh, Star Crystal. I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, this is the battle pass. This is the battle pass. Okay, so, but you gain crystals. And then you can use those crystals to buy these. Okay. Holy shit. That, that's awesome. Hmm. Not that bad. No, 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 it's not. It's not. And then, of course, you, uh... Shard selection, okay. Okay, and then you had the battle pass on F8, okay. Way 50,000. Solent! The available count increases by one after four hours. Okay, for health recovery, spend control. Okay, so basically, you, you gotta do... You gotta do challenges. Is that it? Is that the only way? That's so shit that I... Turn that off. Health. Oh, there we are. Uh, let's put it to complete. Uh, acquiring points will increase the level of battle battle and play. Okay. Uh, we can not collect reward that is all okay okay so how do we acquire it doesn't say it doesn't say okay we got this defense boom sweet yeah explorer wisp island was that what why is that there's so much tasty food and this does what what does it do how to acquire no 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 I, I just want to see what it does what does it do <laughs> I don't know okay but it's shit though we, we can't buy ugh <sighs> Farm. Okay, but 750. 750. Holy shit. Not so bad, huh? Uh, wait until the first, yeah. Ah, uh, farm. That, that's expensive. So thousand is around one hundred. Uh, no. Five hundred is around one hundred. And then two hundred is around thousand. I can't see. No, you can't. There. Yeah, five hundred is around one hundred. So that is one expensive mount. TFD level, yeah. So if this costs 750, holy shit. That's that's expensive. That is expensive. Holy shit. Okay. 
Okay, select it. Oh, okay. Tra server transfer. Yeah, I chose a sea kill. A sea kill for the ones that is in Euro Europe. That was the only one that worked. <laughs> so basically 200 for a skin. Yeah, uh, 150 I would think. 150. 150, 170. Around there. Yeah, so that is... Yeah, that's a lot. Holy shit. But it, it's uh, it, it's not just a skin though. It's uh, it's a morph. So I get it. Uh, but it's still expensive. Like a hundred would be okay. But it's it's more than a hundred. What is these coins? Ornate coins. Ornate currency. Yeah. Wow. It should be five hundred. Fifty. I don't know. It, it's uh, it's a complete. It's just. It's not just a skin though. We're checking out uh, <laughs> the drip store. Yes, he walk. We are. I would say this is more than a skin. But if they had it for 500, you know, that would be... Uh, yeah, it, 500, that is 100. Isn't that what I said, though? Yeah, 500. Yeah. Around uh, 100. There we go. Okay. What What does it say, though? Ask storage manager Melkin in Liberace Plus about... Matene, okay. You can choose your final reward. Oh, okay. Uh, Mystic Cat, Leather Tricon, Forgotten Tricon. I don't know. This? I don't know. Okay, now, now that's done. Okay. Thanks to the Star Fragment's power, the island is safe for now. However, you learn just how unpredictable and dangerous this power can be. Thankfully, Clay has a researcher friend who may be able to help. He arranged a way for you to meet her in Castleton. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Good job on the character, looks like you. Yeah, I think I did a great job too. I didn't spend that much time. 30, 40 minutes. And the character creation, guys, it's deep. That is deep. So you definitely um, get to create the character you want to be. Brother, why is your back so heavy? Welcome, brother. First time in Castleton. I can't well, oh yeah, okay. There's anything you want to know, ask away. Okay, I I can't search for Ma, Ma Martine. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know of any brothers by that name. If you don't have anything to stop, buzz off! I've got this token from Clay. Oh, this is Clay's brother. You know Clay. Martine had to go into hiding. You'll have to speak with the priestess. Okay. You can only be humans. Yes. Uh, and uh, you you can choose to play like this, or you can play like this. You know. And you can of course play first person, or you can zoom out like yeah. Uh, okay. Priests, fine priests. How the hell are they? Can you change the colors of the mounts? So you don't have to be black? Because Hold on. Because I want this in a different color. Huh. 
that's awesome if you can uh, do that leveling log okay what is this P there's so many screens yeah a little like guild wars oh yeah okay so you can't change the okay that's awesome yeah, you know this, or are you just guessing? Because if you're right, I mean, damn. That's sweet. Guardian, auction house, equipment chanting. Oh, yeah, I meant the camera. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, don't tease me like that then. Okay. Oh, level up. Yeah, rare access. Okay. Quiet through various content and allows you to upgrade your equipment power. Okay. Each upgrade, yes. Uh, equipment will level up when it reaches 100%. Okay. Press the level up button. Insufficient material. Oh, yeah, I need this. And then you can press how to acquire. That is awesome. I don't know shit about this game. I, I don't want to spend money if I'm not going to like it. That's true. That's true. Okay. What's this then? Schedule. Oh, yes. And then you just press that. Oh! Wow! Okay, that is sweet. That is sweet. You have the schedule right there. Okay, that's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, and when you're in this camera mode, you just press Alt and then you have that. The... The arrow. Instead of going out and then have this, you can just press Alt. So sweet. Okay. It's supposed to be. Oh, there you are, priestess. Hello. Oh Can I help you? I've got Clay's token, and I. This is Clay's token. <laughs> Aina reveals the truth in mysterious ways. I see you have no evil intentions. I'd like to meet Martinet. Martinet is currently in hiding. You will need a secret passphrase to meet with her. It's a safe measure to protect her from the RQ. What should be done? To get the first part of the passphrase, speak with a local sundrise merchant. Tell them you are looking for a red flower and show place token. Then you will receive the part of the phrase. Okay. So how's the combat? Clunky or good? Ah, uh, it's a little weird. But people have said that it gets better. The more you uh, upgrade. It, it feels a little weird. It does. I wouldn't say clunky. But, um, oh, yeah, go from Guild Wars 2 to this. Yeah. It's a little weird. It's not as smooth. But I think that's because they're going for more the realistic way. Than Guild Wars 2. Fallen paper. The invasion of Wisp Island was to get their hands on the Star Fragments. Kalenthia carried out a campaign of genocide and extracted Star Fragments from the bodies. The elder of the island died, but the children he was protecting assumed to have ex escaped. Okay. Do you need anything? I look for a red flower. I have this token. Yes, welcome. Ah, good. I see you have Clay's token. Hmm? Oh, suspicious folk have been asking about Martinet lately. We suspect they're with the Archeum. Yes. Oh, I don't know what those Archeum bastards want with her. But under these circumstances, we have no choice but to be wary of outsiders seeking Martinet. Where can I find Martinet? Oh, sorry for stalling. You need the rest of the passphrase to find Martinet. The first part of the phrase is, The light 
fragment. Ask the skills researcher for the other half. Don't just say you're looking for a red flower. Okay. Okay. I heard control is good in, on this. Yeah, I heard it's really good. They made, uh, they had several tests with with players. And um, yeah, it's supposed to be really good. And I saw a post about someone that plays on PC and chose to use a controller because it feels so good. Have you tried using the storage? So, I mean, that says something, you know? We get puppets. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so basically. Okay. P was character, right? Yeah. Um, can I hide? Can I hide this? Please tell me I can hide this. I want it on, but. Uh... Oh, show head armor. Oh, yes. Oh, because holy shit, that looks. Sweet. Yeah, hat. Yeah, look, that looked awful. That looked awful. Okay. Can I? Well, I can't fly. What the fuck? I can't fly on command. I thought I could. Okay, that's okay. It's fine, but it's just... Look at that. They are red. <laughs> Contract. Contract coin merchant. Okay. Is there anything you want to buy? Oh, yeah, I can't. I gotta wait then. Let's wait. It's Holy shit! Right, <laughs> oh, that's a lot of players. Holy shit! Damn. Damn, and it's not even lagging, guys. It's not even lagging. Holy balls! Whoo! The battle is gonna be oh, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Yeah, you can change the dice. You can, you can, you can use dice to change the colors. Oh yeah, that is sweet. So um, okay, hey, you have okay, okay. Hey, you have armor. Um. Okay, and then you can just press this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's sweet. No wonder a lot of people are here. And this is accessory. Accessory. I can tell you have a good eye since you're here for my... Sweet. Mmm. I know the entire crafting. You can Weapon. ask me anything about weapons, my friend. Okay, sweet. Goodbye, my friend. Equipment. Yeah, I wanna I wanna see what you Okay. I mean Huh? No, why do you compare it with with the bow? Fuck that. Don't compare it to the bow. On the road, compare it to what I already have. Oh yeah, compare it to another set. <laughs> Just press shift. <laughs> press shift, god damn it! Take care, my friend. Okay. That was close. No, but that makes okay. Sweet. So you can change colors. Ah, amazing! You absolutely need to grow skills. It's a must. Do you want to learn a new skill? Yeah, I'm looking for a red flower. So Clay sent you. 
The second half of the password is Whispers. You want to meet with Martinet? Head to the Castleton Infirmary on the north side of town. Say the password, and you'll be allowed to enter. Sweet. By got way, it. Many of the townsfolk, including myself, have been brought to health by Martinet's healing skills. Please take care not to let anything happen to her. Keep an eye out for anyone suspicious on your tail, just in case. At first, okay. Melky pretended not to know anything about Martinet. It turns out she had gone into hiding, fearing the Archeum Legion. When you showed Clay's token to the villagers, told you where to go, and gave you the full password, the light fragment whispers. Okay. Resident. Are you looking for specific ingredients? My color I don't know. Are the best in Castleton. Welcome, fine customer. Fishing rod, sweet. Goodbye. Hey, we got another one. In the end, the Lord B Belfret and Mark Aaron were hanged. Everyone in the plaza began to greet the loss. However, Revel, Kisar, Calanthia, these merciless invaders used something to make the people sing and dance in full celebration against their will. Damn, she's evil. Evil. Motherfucker! Come on! Damn! Okay, 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 okay. Mysterious note. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, well, let's let's help him. Okay, let's try that again. I need to go to bed early, start tomorrow, have a fun, have fun with the game. And thank you, Lacey. What are you gonna do tomorrow? It's Sunday tomorrow. Football, working out, family shit. Yay! <laughs> the wolves were too strong; they came running all at once. And here I've been training to only catch one at a time. Woo! <laughs> yeah. No, but thank you for coming by as always, uh, Lacey, and have a great, great night and good luck tomorrow. You'll need it. You'll need it because you're gonna have. So much fun. You gonna stream tomorrow? Yes. Yes, I am. See you then. Appreciate you, beautiful bastard. There's no saying they're closed, and despite your knocks, there's no answer. You try to remember that first half the password you learned. Um, isn't it this? The light fragment whispers. You sense someone presence beyond the entrance and had a click of a lock being opened. So wait. I wasn't expecting any visitors. You know what I hate? Hold on. I'm gonna turn off the um, the overlay. I think that is so goddamn annoying. I haven't seen you around before. So what brings you here? Well, this is Clay's token, and I... I see. Clay sent you to me because of my research. The truth is, my sister Adriana also suffers from bouts of mana frenzy. I've been searching for a cure. If you're suffering from the effects of mana frenzy as well, a mana calming potion can alleviate your symptoms. I'd brew one for you, but I just used my last batch of ingredients. And unfortunately, I must stay here for the time being. Well, let me fetch the ingredients. Then I'll tell you where to go and what I need. Head to the Golden Apothecary in the Golden Rye Pastures. You'll be able to find some rancid powder. 
Bring me some rancid powder, and I'll make you an improved mana calming potion. Well, I'll get uh, get it right away. You know how to use waypoints, right? <laughs> if you aren't sure, go ask Priestess Grace. Using them makes it a breeze to return after procuring materials. Okay. Oh dear. You look... Damn. Your symptoms are clearly getting worse. Hurry, bring me some rancid powder. Okay. No loading. Consult and infirmary has been closed for some time due to rumors that the Archim Legion was hunting Martinet. It was to trick them into thinking that Martinet, who had worked as a healer there, had left. While in hiding, she is still researching a cure for her sister's star fragment side effects. Okay. When you level up, you can apply character stats on the open. Okay. Open character. As you level up, you earn points. Yes. Select the stat. Yes. Check the details. Sweet. Okay. So one stat point. <laughs> yeah, that is physical. Quickness and critical attacks. Uh, source of mental powers. Prowess. Max mana, max regen. In addition to cooldown abilities and max damage. Uh, preservation. So, uh, so it says a source of insight and awareness. Heightens awareness during battle. Increased accuracy of attacks. CC effects and has time boost abilities. Increase max damage and min damage. So a lot of these are basically damage. Okay, and strength increases max health, max regen, max damage, and min damage. Huh? Ah, okay, base 10, yeah. I don't know. Let's go for strength for now, huh? Can check the changes yes and then we just apply it there okay sweet yeah awesome what is this cooking fishing wow can we fish leveling log uh okay Leveling log pass. Leveling pass. Leveling pass. So you have both battle pass and leveling pass. Huh? Cool. Okay, and more items that help you level up and it can be acquired, okay. Okay. So, inventory, I got... What, what is this? Superior remedy made from... Contents. Okay, boost attack for sure, put time. And this, boost defense, okay. Hmm. Mana regeneration. Okay. But why was that red? Okay. Codex. Collection. Okay. Can we just have mark all? Huh? I mean, that would be best. Just mark him. Castleton Infirmary has been closed for some time due to rumors that the Archim Legion was hunting Martinet. It was to trick them into thinking that Martinet, who had worked as a healer there, had left. While in hiding, she is still researching a cure for her sister's star fragment side effects. Mm. 
Class is over. I'm back. Hey, AC walk. Hello. Well, let's ask her about what we need to the ask gods her. Cherish us all. Two. Oh, we we didn't do it. What? But I. I press reset. Well, I did it now at least. Actually, there's something else I'm curious about. You still have unanswered questions, I see. I'm wondering about waypoints. Waypoints are one of the greatest implementations of Venalux magic. They allow you to instantly traverse from one location to another. Originally, teleportation was a spell that only the most skilled wizards were able to cast by creating distortions between spaces using the elements of wind and earth. Mm -hmm. It was the wizard Clay who completed the schema to make waypoints so that teleportation could be accessible to everyone. Anyone can use a waypoint without any special training. Try placing your hand on the waypoints in the plaza and at the Golden Rye pastures. Afterwards, talk to the resistance officer Ashton. He'll explain the rest. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Let's, uh... I mean, is that something I can change? Mirror boutique? Hold on. Outfit? Revel Lupius. Many have died because of this evil man. <laughs> I, I don't have this. Huh? Oh. Okay, I, I thought I... Fall. I, I, I bought the wrong one. How long is this ugly statue going to remain here? This guy's been dead for ages. Oh, yeah. So I have no outfits there. Uh, weapon appearance. Huh? Okay. Oh, so it's gotta be, uh... Well, you can't do it to anything. Okay. Hmm. So if I press change the pair... <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay, morph there. Oh yeah, you have to pay to change your parents. Yeah, that's fine. But how do I um Hmm Okay. So basically there should be a way to change the colors on uh, on stuff but okay oh, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on After completing Codex. Ah, okay. So I have to move on. Yeah, let's just. What the hell is this? Oh. <laughs> let's touch it. Let's touch it. Touch it. Come on. Wow. Lord Hobbs of Laslin resisted Revolupius, who had usurped the throne. But his dominion was taken by the Archeum Legion. However, Laslin was freed again by the Founder's Order, led by Captain Da Vinci, and the Laslin Allied Resistance Forces were founded here. How's the combat treating you? What was this? I thought it was... Hmm. Uh... Can... Uh, 
Uh, the combat is... Uh, uh, I feel like Guild Wars 2 is a lot more smooth, but they are go In this, they're going for more... I don't know. A realistic way? I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't feel... Um, right now, it's too simple. But I've heard that uh, if you... When you level up more... Uh, it gets better. So, uh, we'll see. Darkum Legion will begin in derivation of Last Land in 10 days, starting with Castleton. <laughs> if the resistance fails to stop them, Solacium will soon be under Kassar's control. Okay. There we go. But I have a feeling I'm going to buy the, the biggest edition. I, I really want that dragon. I love dragons. And I really want to play as a dragon. So originally this game con was meant to be automatic. You click an enemy and your character would fight it. That's why it feels really tacked on. Okay. This was once the most prosperous granary in Laslin, but after the cursed rain came, it became infested with strangely enlarged pests. People tried to solve the problem by employing the power of free wizards, but the free wizards' clumsy magic only made things worse. The Einar Priestess Grace introduced waypoints as a great integration of Venelux magic. Teleportation was a rare skill that was only used by a few wizards. When the wizard Clay completed the schema for waypoints, it enabled anyone to teleport freely. Hmm. Sweet. Okay, so we just, um... I don't know. But I, I do like the defense uh, thing. That's uh, that's quite awesome. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like you start with. A lot of uh, abilities from the gecko, and I. I don't. That I don't like. Like, you have all the abilities from the start. Oh, yeah. Come on. Well, that's a beehive. Fuck. Oh yeah, okay. Wasn't that bad. Okay. Sheet block chance. Okay. Uh, evading sheet blocking. Blocking with defense skill within. Um, okay. I don't know. Damage reduction. Okay. I don't know. Okay, the whale thing. But I do like this. I do like this, that you have a schedule. That is awesome. Oh, it, it just left them. Oh, that was 12. Upcoming?
Okay. Uh. Ah, okay. Huh. Ah. No, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, burn it. Okay. So right now, the combat is really simple. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Forge helmet? Hold on. Okay. So, what if I... I mean, why can't I... Dissolvable? Yeah! How do I do that? Guess I'll learn that. Wait, Ashton. Okay. Hey! How do you operate the waypoints? Uh, looks like it's your first time using a waypoint. If you place your hand on a waypoint, the schema will be activated and the stone will glow blue. Open your map and select a waypoint activated with blue light. You will be instantly transported to that location. Once you place your hand Kay. on a waypoint, it will glow with blue light, activating the schema. If you open the map and select an activated waypoint, you can instantly travel to that location. Yeah, it makes sense. <sighs> the resistance needs more people like you. Can I do it from here? Or do I have to go to a... Uh... Oh, okay. That's nice. I don't have to. Yeah, but uh, did somebody answer my question? Can you change the colors? Mm. Nobody answered. Okay. I do like this though. The mounts. Yeah. What should I do? How can I help you? So where is the herbalist? Um, do you need something from the master? I need some rancid powder. Rancid powder? Yes. Well, I know how to make it, but uh, no, no. Uh, please forget what I just said. Okay. Uh, can you make it? I can't. I haven't received the master's approval yet. What if I just tell you the ingredients you need and you can gather them and find them yourself? Well, tell me about them. Collect decomposed hearts from violent harvesters, poison stingers from wasps, and contaminated horns from scarabs. And then go to Mandrake Farmstead to get Mandrake Root. Come back here with all of those and I'll give you the last ingredient. Then, if you take all the ingredients to Windhill Shores and find my master, he'll make the powder for you. Nice. In the apothecary at the Golden Rye Pastures works the always gloomy Oliver, the herbalist's apprentice. Oliver has been an apprentice there for some time, though he has yet to gain the approval of his master. You've heard that the locals pitied the outstanding apprentice, a gifted student who suffered under his eccentric master. Okay, uh, recipe for rancid powder. Okay. Well, can't we just do it here? But I do like this. When you're in this mode, just press Alt and then you have this. Uh, the arrow. Instead of going out, you know. In and out. You can just press Alt. Kind of sweet. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Oh. What are you bastard? Okay. Okay, that's kind of awesome. can be acquired from harvesters and insects in the golden rye pastures. They are the decomposed heart of a harvester, which controls magical power, a wasp stinger, which controls magical toxicity, and a contaminated scarabine, which has a tonic effect. Kay. These ingredients are highly toxic on their own, but highly effective together. Okay, let's see. If you have enough materials to grow a skill, the grow skill button will appear. Click the button to grow, okay. I mean... Probably this. Skill grow. Okay. Uh, you can t check which content will grant you skill growth, okay. Uh, each time you attempt to grow skill, the growth rate applies, okay? When skill growth reaches 100, yes. <sighs> Press the grow button to enhance the skills. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, but if I press this, I don't see how many... How many I use. Okay. Sweet. Mm -mm -mm. Finola! Hello, hello, welcome. It's good to see ya. Oh! Okay. Okay. I didn't do much. Ooh. Yeah! One. What if I press... What is this? Okay. Oh, shit. Let's attack this. Hmm. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, what is... Nine? Okay, that's... Uh... Okay. Hmm. Come on. Wow. Beehive, come on. Damn! Where'd you go? When you go off stream, can you adjust your commercial breaks? Three minutes of commercial breaks every 10 minutes is too much for me. Every 10 minutes? Huh? 
Do you get three minutes every ten minutes? Well, that's not supposed to happen. What the fuck? Well, thank you for telling me because that's... No, no, no. It's only supposed to be three minutes every hour, I think. Not every ten minutes. I know that Twitch did something fucked, but I'm gonna... No, I'm definitely gonna uh, check it out. Yeah, thank you for telling me, Fanola. Holy shit. Holy shit. The evening when a battle had briefly paused, I looked down from a hill on the in-memorable fallen so Okay. The Twitch experience. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Go over to kick, guys. No ads. No ads. And if you uh, choose to uh, to gift a sub, I get 95%. So it's a win-win. It's a win-win. On Twitch, you need to sub to... Uh, to have no ads on kick. Nothing. You just watch. So, I mean, you, you watch wherever you want, of course, guys. And, uh, but if you're on Twitch and hate those goddamn ads. Well. But yeah, I agree, though. If it pops up three minutes every... 10 minutes that is that is not okay so i'm gonna definitely gonna do that uh change that though i don't know why they changed that automatically but okay uh but hold on since we're here ned Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so we are going there. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, now's not the time to be worrying about goblins. Do you see that pile of straw? Sometimes goblins sleep inside of them and suddenly pop out. Well, what the fuck is he then? He's here? Why wouldn't you show me, uh... Where the hell is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. Holy shit. So if I turn around, I can... There it is! Holy shit! Hey, hey! And you can ride that shit. So that's what that does. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, come on. Damn. Wow. Two points. Okay. One there. Uh, max. Okay, accuracy of ta attacks. Yeah. Quickness and critical attacks. Yeah, let's. Uh, wisdom. Apply, I think. Mm okay. Yeah, let's change hit chat. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. 
Sweet. Boom. I like this game more and more. The more I learn, the more I like it. But why do we have... What is that? Why do we have to go this way? What is this way? City shows me... Okay, let's see. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Isn't that... No, that's over there. Oh, destroyed the mal malfunctioning. Okay. Ah, content details. Okay. Okay. Uh, destroyed the malfunctioning harvester. Huh? Destroy malfunctioning harvesters. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Well, that didn't help. What is this? Okay. Guys, what the fuck? Um... <laughs> okay. No, no, no. There. And then. Okay. Okay, now I think we're good. Now we're good. Let's go. What the hell do, does it show up here? Target has already been occupied. Like, look at this, guys. What the hell is this one? Hmm. No, I don't know. It's a little annoying though. Does it stop over there? That's awesome if it does. Ah shit. No, 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 no. Run! No, I really like it. I really like it. Especially uh, with the cutscenes and stuff. The character doesn't speak though. And they do that in Guild Wars. But the cutscenes are way better. But at the same time, the combat is better in Guild Wars. So I mean... I don't know. Welcome to Mandrake Farmstead, where we grow them with love from seed to harvest. <laughs> if it's fresh mandrakes you need, you've come to the right farm. I look for mandrake root. Ah. <sighs> oh my. Uh, I've just run out of roots. Mm. How about collecting as many as you need yourself? And in exchange, you can have everything for free. Well, I'll do what I can to gather them. Then try harvesting the roots from the mandrakes planted out in the field. Oh, by the way, mandrakes will turn violent when you try to harvest their roots, so be extra careful. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Look at that, it is so annoying. Like, go away! Oh shit! Huh. 
Okay, was that it? That was it? Okay, morph. Special. Shapeshift. Okay. Play. Okay. In the world to shapeshift, okay. Huh. Okay. Why? Ooh. And then Codex Collection. Oh, come on, game. Like, mark all. <laughs> That would be sweet. We have something here too. Are you are you are you kidding? I don't know. Leveling log. What what is it? F nine. Okay. Thread imbued with mana. Yeah, and they have a battle pass and a leveling pass, which is. Well, that's a. There's also a way. The cutscenes get better after level 80, by the way. The ones you're seeing were made in like 2011. Okay. They get better? Okay. Wow. Well, if the ones I'm seeing is made in 2011, then... Wow, because they, they do look good. They do look good. No, I, I'm not done with the Guild Wars. No, far from it. I like it. Okay, talk to researcher. Yeah. Why can't they just move that away? Have I marked something? I, I feel like I... I An arrow? It's really annoying. Okay, let me... Um, can I go to the menu? Log out or something? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's go there. Let's go there. Because we, we can fly. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm jumping up on the whale, guys. Hell to the year. Peace zone. Yeah, that may be it. If that whale just... Keeps in that area. And then if it turns around and go there as it did before. And that is sweet. Damn. Okay. I don't know. It, it seems like it's leaving. I hope not. The smaller, <laughs> they're waiting, <laughs> waiting. Whoa! How do we get up though? Hmm. Oh yeah. Encouraging them to attack the village. Okay, so no. That's fine. Alaya. Hey, there's a priestess.
Farm. Ach. Well, that's shit. I missed it. I missed it. What the hell is this? Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Uh, not really what I was gonna do, but okay. Yeah. Who challenge themselves shy. What you need rest. Gonna touch it. Touch the stone. Long ago, the mages of Venelux built an observatory to watch the stars in the sky, but the Archeum destroyed the tower, leaving it in ruins. It is now being used as a base for those adventuring in the Ostella Fields, Carmine Forest, and the Nesting Grounds. Hell yeah. Okay. Adventurers Hoot Emerson's Lucky Store. Uh, I, I don't know what I need. Enjoy your adventure. What the hell are you on? Don't forget that there's nothing more. Right, right, right. Damn. Storage manager, okay. I've been working at the Starlight Observatory Ruined Storage for a long time. Oh. Years now. Serious book. Uh, that's Cosmo Blown, okay. <laughs> Contract manager. Are you the contract manager? What can I do for you? Only resistance soldiers can take on contracts. Oh yeah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, collection. Oh fuck that. Okay. No, but I have to see if I can exit game. No, I don't want to exit game. I just want to mail. I just want to get rid of that arrow thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try that. See if it'll work. Because that is annoying. Let me do that. Uh, Fun, no? Okay, that did nothing. Come on! That didn't do much. Why? Okay. What is this? Forest four arrows in a row. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's uh, log out and in. That arrow is annoying. 
da, 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 da. Oh, that's sweet. No, it's still there? Yeah, don't show until the next update, I think. What the hell is this? Oh, yeah, okay. Huh. What the fuck have I done? Maybe there's something unmarked? Wouldn't surprise me to be honest. I pressed something earlier. Here we go. <laughs> but this is awesome though. Yeah! Come on, lion. Just need to find out how to change the colors. That would make it even better. Something there. Hmm. Uh, CC resistance skill. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ah. It, it looks, it's, it's. Yeah. While you search for treasures hidden in ships wrecked by storms and chests that have been drifting. I wonder how PvP works. The masters of the coastline. From a distance, they look like normal crustaceans, but when you get up close, you'll find they pose a greater threat than you anticipated. Okay. Ew. What brings you here? Please combine the, the ingredients. Huh? These are the ingredients needed to make rancid powder. Martin A must have sent you. But how did you know about these ingredients? Your apprentice told me about it. Oliver, that clever boy. How did he figure this out already? He's quite bright. Oliver definitely deserves praise. Herbalists have to go to perilous places to acquire ingredients. But Oliver can't even stand the sight of a mere ant. I'm waiting for him to overcome his fears. What? I didn't know that. Well, I'll make the rancid powder for you right away. It must be urgent for you to come all the way out here. But look at me, rambling on. Here's your rancid powder. Planning to go straight back to Martinet? In that case... Why don't you try opening your map and teleporting to Castleton? After acquiring the last ingredient from the Mandrake farmstead, you were able to meet the herbalist Wilson. He always entrusted the apothecary to his apprentice and collected herbs alone. He had to venture to all sorts of dangerous areas to get medicinal herbs, but his pupil was a coward who would flee at the sight of an ant. Oh. Okay, it says set page up. Press. Yeah, I'm pressing page up. So why can't I move? Special. Press page up in the world of to shapeshift. I, I, 
I mean, I'm doing it. Pitch down, pitch up. Hold on. There's something else I need to... No? Pitch up. Ah. Pitch up? No. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That is definitely a loading. That's definitely loading. When he charges that up. Has to be. Okay. Um perception. Time boost abilities. Okay. Increases quickness. I mean, why? Come on. The, oh, uh, no. I want to reset. Holy shit. Here we go. There's no one saying it's close. There's no response. The light fragments and whispers. Mm-hmm. And then we go in. Hey girl! I'm here. I'm back. Did you bring the ingredient? I did. You're back so soon. So did soon? You find rancid powder? <laughs> How are you feeling? Have you gotten any worse? That's okay. Here's some rancid powder. I'm glad you're alright. The rancid powder you brought is high quality. I'll make the mono calming potion for you right away. Thank you. All right, here you are. Why don't you try it and see how it works? Okay. Thanks for the mono calming potion. How are you? Are you feeling any better? I can feel the mana calming down. Just as I thought. It's much more effective. I tried to improve the efficacy, but I didn't expect the results to be this good. The calming potion's effect is very effective this time. I need to bring this to my sister right away. But as you know, I'm in no position to be wandering around outside. I'll get, uh, I'll give the calming potion to your sister. Thank you. This is the same calming potion that I made you. Please, bring this to Mina at Windhill Shores. Only Mina knows where my sister is, you see. Zeroth's men might follow me and find my sister if I go see her myself. Zeroth? Yes, Zareth, the leader of Laslin's Archeum unit. He's one of the Khazar's top commanders. He wants the power of my sister's star fragment and will stop at nothing to get it. You see, if the power is strong enough, the mana will go into a frenzy. The calming potion is controlling your power for now, but you can't hide from Zareth forever. Please be careful. Okay. Yeah. You look so much better now. Hope that's end of the frenzy. See? Hey. It is vitally important that you keep Martinet's presence here a secret. Okay. I will. The effect of the mana calming potion that Martinet made was incredible. Soon after you drank the potion, you could feel your magic begin to settle down. Martinet, who had been researching a way to relieve her older sister Adriana's pain for so long, 
finally succeeded in creating a potion more effective than her other attempts. Okay. But we do have something, um... Killed merchant? No, no. Hmm. What the hell is skills researcher? Oh, do you need something? Let's take a look. That was close. I can't believe the ghastly tales were true. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've Absolutely definitely been here. But what the hell? Oh, okay. See you later. See you later. That's true. Maybe. News from Mina. <laughs> okay. Daybreak short. Yeah, that's... Open the map and use waypoint. I wouldn't... Speak. With uh, mine. Okay. Ah, okay. So we just press end. Ah, sweet. Okay. 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 Oh. Huh. Milestone. Uh, yeah, I, I can't. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can move there. Dice or roll? Okay, let me try dice. Oh yeah, fuck. Hold on. Uh, dice. Forty-six. That is sweet, though. Okay, so if we roll, is is that the same? Yeah. Ooh, nice. That kind of awesome. It's a little stuff. It's sweet. Alright. Hey. Page up. Come on. What? What is B? Oh, that's my home. Okay. Probably. I would think. Yeah. <laughs> Go to your homestead. No, I don't want it. Yeah, go to your homestead. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Woo. What, what is that for, though? Used for crafting equipment. Okay. Damn. Well, there we go. Hey. Uh -huh. How can I help you? 
Here's the mana calming potion. Seeing that you brought the calming potion, I'm pretty sure that Martinet must have sent you. If she sent this out of the blue in such a hurry, then things probably worked out well for her. Sorry, but Adriana isn't exactly here right now. Not long ago, Sarah Sarah's men found Adriana's hideout. Last night, Adriana said he she would have to run far away to escape him. Where did Adriana go? Uh, uh, Martinet's calming potion wasn't enough to fully control Adriana's power. Adriana didn't tell me where she was going, but she would find a way to suppress her mana away from Arcum's eyes. There might be some clues left in the lighthouse where Adriana stayed. Right, I better get to the... Okay, right, I better go break the news to Mart... Mart... Martinet. But by now, Adriana should be out of Laslin. The news from Nina was okay. unexpected. Zeroth's spies were closing in on Adriana's hideout, forcing her to flee. Martinet's potion was still not effective enough to control her mana completely, so she set out to find a way to quell her frenzied mana on her own. Hey. Revel Lupius was widely known as the new ruler of Solsium, but it turns out he's only Kassar's puppet. The resistance must consider Kassar the real enemy and the mastermind and come up with a plan. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No problem, huh? Sweet. Sounds like people are moving around beyond the entrance. Ooh, okay. Unfortunately, we're a bit late. That one must have taken Adriana away. You have a star fragment just like that girl. I won't be going home empty-handed after all. You dare interfere with our plans? I'll kill you! Damn! Come on! Hand over the star fragment! Some kid. Mm. I'll take your star fragment, even if I have to pry it from your corpse. Okay. You won't be able to escape Lord Kazar until the day you die. Magic. I can't forget that horrible nightmare I had. So many people in despair, all of them writhing in pain. With time, my memories became clearer. It's agonizing, but I just can't give up. At the very least, for Martinet's sake. <laughs> hmm. Okay. It's a book on the, on the chest. Appears to be a diary. You examined the most recent entry. I felt 
felt someone's presence in my sleep. I thought it was just Mina at first, but then I could tell from the heavy footsteps that the intruder was someone I didn't know. Okay. I quickly hid myself and watched the intruder pass by. The pattern engraved on their sword meant that they were part of the Archeum Legion. Just why are the Archeum looking for me again? I can't allow that tragedy to be repeated. It's probably time for me to leave. At the very least, Martine will be safe. The Archeum Legion attacked the lighthouse where Adriana had been hiding, seeking the power of a star fragment. Only after defeating them did you discover her research papers and a diary she had left behind. There, she had clearly recorded the difficult times she had been through. Okay. Hmm. Open this. I catch a flower decoration. Hmm. Less dust on it since it was used more recently. Okay. A gold flower design. Okay. Oh, it's open. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, hello. Hello. Enter the lighthouse at the wind hill. Uh, okay. Oh, I can open that. Use the key. Hold on. Huh? Okay. Yeah, uh, it's full of Adriana's things. You know, there's a parchment with dense writing on Just it. Who was Janice Carter anyway? Ooh. She recognized my power immediately and knew that as long as I possessed it, I would be targeted by Archeum for the rest of my life. Hmm. She ended up telling me that the only way to truly be free from the Archeum was to leave as soon as possible and find some way to gain control over my power. Sweet. Okay. You found a document which contained details about Janice Carter, someone Adriana had met of the star fragment that Adriana had, advised her that the only way to be free from the Archeum was to leave as soon as possible and find a way to control her power. See? I can create a guilt. Love that. Love that. It, it cost 30,000. I thought it cost 300. Okay. Yeah, let's... Uh, I'm definitely going to do that. It looks like she spent a lot of time in this chair. What decision did she come to in the end? Oh! Infinity wheel. Okay. The hell is this? Woo! Okay.
Archean forces captured Martine, the younger of two twin sisters. By keeping her hostage, they forced the shaman Adriana, who wielded the power of a star fragment, to call forth the rains. As the ritual began, rain cascaded from the sky, accompanied by crashes of thunder. But the Archean forces had altered the ritual. Their tampering caused a cursed rain to fall on Laslin. Oh? Wherever the rain fell, creatures transformed into violent monsters that attacked people and devastated the farmland. Adriana was shocked to witness what she had done. When the Archean forces turned on the sisters, meaning to kill them now that they had served their purpose. The awe-inspiring power of the star fragment that lay dormant within Adriana flooded out, and their enemies were annihilated in an instant. In the wow. aftermath, Adriana was beset by unspeakable disfigurations, swallowed by guilt over her role in causing the cursed rain. Okay. Holy shit, so she's the... She's the one that did this. All this shit. Okay. Hold on. Is that K? No. Uh, P? It's P? Okay. Mm. Okay. Cooldown abilities? I don't think I need that. I'm not right now. A critical tax. Okay. Uh, time boost. I think. In case a hit chance. Critical chance. Okay. Max health. Maybe this? A lot. I'll do this. Okay. So, attack speed. Sweet. Critical chance. Yes. And then... Okay. Huh. Okay. Mox mana. Wait. And there's a bunch of chance. Okay. Defense, range, max health, health regen, uh, regen, and uh, okay. So this is mana, chance, and chance, but and attack speed. Okay, spring. Okay. Okay, so K was that. Passive skill. Hold on. Uh, we have a bunch of... Hold on. What the... Huh? Been an attack resource. Eight mana. Okay. What about this? No, but what is it? No, I, I'm not gonna do it. Like, what is it? Come on, game. Can grow skills? I I know I can grow skills, but and won't tell me. Okay. There's a few attack while stationary. <sighs> Fuck. 
Okay. Uh, what is this? Increased magic and range evasion. And then we have this. Oh, remain stationary for two seconds. Increase attack speed by 6% magic melee and range critical chance by 100. So stand still, goddammit. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. But inventory. Hmm. But how many do I spend? Ah. Uh, yeah. 18 sec. Six. Yeah, let's. Oh, okay. That. Okay, that was something else. What the hell is this? No, no. Swap. Wow. No, that is not what I was going to do, though. Not swap. Come on. Eight. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So seven out, seven out of two. Mana cost change. Ooh. Mm. <sighs> what else though? The, so, seriously, I think I'm gonna take that one more time. Yeah. Okay. Three. Okay. Uh, maybe this. Yeah. Damn. How do I get these? Exploration. Okay, I sail this letter. Return to the Age of Wolves. Okay. <laughs> hmm. All merchant. Windhill. There's so much stuff. I'm getting Lost Ark flashbacks. I never played Lost Ark. It didn't do so well though. But um We're thinking about Yeah, what are you thinking about? 
Oh yeah, this progression is probably going to drive me away quickly. I can't do these overly complex systems. Ah, okay. Well, it's not complicated though. It may seem complicated, but... I think it's just as soon as you... Just... Learn the system. Okay, braid windmill shores. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's take a look. Sweet. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's uh, test it out. Okay. That's a strong one, yeah. Let me just do this for quick. Mm hmm. Mm. God damn it. I really like it. This go gonna take some time getting used to the, the combat. Just now, after upgrading a little bit of the... Um, the quickness. It feels more smooth already. Not much, but a little bit. Wow. close okay and then there should be something around Which I, uh, which I don't get. Hmm. How the hell do you braid something? Yeah, like, do you kill every enemy? That's I, I. Let me see. Uh, leveling log. Raid. Okay. Oh, yeah, so I basically did it. 
Okay. Hmm. Share in chat though. Okay. What is this? Okay, let me try and eat this. No, that's what's needing, huh? What for? Tasty food selection. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, all hitch. Ah, uh, okay, boss. Defense. Okay. chance yeah. all right uh delete yeah uh, and that is where Ooh, yeah, that is uh, that is far away. Damn. Okay, uh, to try to cast it on, then travel to. Okay. Okay, let me let me try. B. Ooh, okay. These lights are appearing across the fields, hmm. and the goblins seem different from usual. Yeah. There's a goblin legend that on the day of the Star Energy's peak, the seven monument stones here will grant a mysterious gift. Wouldn't adventurers also be able to receive that gift? I'll head over first. Okay, let's see. Cooking oven. Okay. Uh, okay. That didn't work. <sighs> oh, we're going in. We're going in. Child. Door and go inside. Now it work. Hey. Uh. Okay. Where is she? You must have come to see Ma Martinet. Yeah. Where is she? After speaking with you, I told Martinet about her sister, and she left to find a new treat. She asked me to give you a letter if I met you. It's over there. Give it a read. Okay. Adventurer, because of you, I was able to hear about my sister before it was too late. Thank you. Now that her hiding place has been exposed, Zeroth's men will find this clinic sooner or later, putting the villagers in great danger. Oof. 
So I also decided to leave before it's too late. I wish I could have created a true cure for you. I'm sorry. Okay. My calming potion won't be enough to fully control your mana. It's too powerful. But it'll keep it from raging out of control for the time being. I'll focus on developing a proper, long-term treatment. Okay. When we meet again, I'll be able to cure you completely. Until then, please take care of yourself and be safe out there. Don't forget that Zaroth and the Archeum Legion could be after you. Damn. Okay, she just left. Don't worry too much about uh, Martin and and Adriana. They'll be reunited. I'll clean this place up. You take care of yourself. Oh, thank you, I guess. Hmm. In the past, when Archeum had taken Martinet hostage, Adriana had a... Is there someone out there? Can anyone help me? Come on, you just ruined... Uh... <laughs> Shut up. In the past, when Archeum had taken Martinet hostage, Adriana had unleashed a cursed storm with her powers. When the Archeum tried to dispose of Martinet, who had served her purpose to them, Adriana lost control of her star fragment. She had been suffering from the side effects of that mana frenzy ever since that day. Uh, I forgot to do some uh, codex there. Uh, final. Oh. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we'll go for this. We got ten years ago led by, who's led by Skila. Drove the town in instead of. Oh, terror. What actually happened uh, the night when the wicked wolf perished? Many people in Castleton remember what happened back then. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, okay. Wow. Is there someone out there? Can anyone Why don't equip an enchant item? Uh huh. Okay. Oh, true. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why are you worried? There's something that I desperately need, but no one will even listen to me. Couldn't you find it in your heart to help me out, adventurer? No, oh, definitely. What do you need help with? What's going on? Have you ever heard of this monster known as Iskael the Greyfanged? No. He was this dreadful wolf that possessed terrible monsters. Oh, yeah, we have, actually. Back in my younger days, oh, do we? I almost ended up getting killed by Iskael. The only reason I'm oh, yeah. to speak That's what to we just read. today is that Henry, the Lord's son, came to rescue me and the other children. He heroically sacrificed his own life to defeat Iskale. Whenever I get the chance, I try to visit Henry's grave in Castleton Abbey to leave some offerings. Last time, 
I made some gloves for him using the hide of a rabbit that I caught. The anniversary of Henry's death is coming soon, so I'd like to prepare a special gift for his grave. I saw a beautifully crafted keepsake at an old hunter's house once. He said he got it from participating in the wolf hunting contest that is held in Henry's memory. I wish I could get one of those keepsakes and bring it to Henry's grave, but I'm still too young to participate in the contest. You know what? I'll get you a keepsake. You don't mind? You'll really get one of those keepsakes for me? If that's the case, then I... No, never, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> hmm, there's got to be more to this. Actually, it would be nice if I could have two of these Ooh. keepsakes. Do you think it'd be possible to get two? Uh, okay, I'll do it. Thank you so much, adventurer. The contest is hosted at the Lord's Residence in Castleton. Go there and ask how you can participate. Rabbi, this way. Come over here for a second. Okay. Uh, where are you? Over there? Yeah, there you are. What is it? I'm at Mordnay, thanks to you. That's great. You look more composed than last time, so I guess it went well. Anyway, I have something to tell you. Do you know how to transfer upgrade levels? No, I don't think so. I thought as much. If you want to prepare yourself properly against all sorts of Archeum spies, you need to know what transferring entails. Uh, okay. Brother. Let me tell you something I learned from one of my other customers. When you get a shiny new high-grade weapon, you can transfer power from a rusty old weapon to strengthen it. Okay. Uh, what's a grow growth stone? When you perform a transfer, the older equipment's upgrade level is completely moved to the new equipment. It's much more efficient than upgrading new gear from scratch. So, brother, remember to upgrade every piece of equipment as much as you can. Yes. Got that, brother? Transferring power means you never have to throw away a piece of equipment. So feel free to upgrade everything as much as you'd like. No. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> Sweet. Melky, the storage manager, advised you to get ready for the battle against Archeum and taught you how to effectively upgrade your equipment. You can now own even stronger equipment by upgrading it. Oh. Hmm. I mean, come on. There we are. Don't fall. Yeah. Okay. Who the hell is shooting at me? Hmm. Come 
Yeah, but what the hell? Come on. Okay, damn. Come on, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. God damn it. Oh, yeah. I love this. Love this. Woohoo! Okay. Uh, okay. Sure. Guys, I... I Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. <laughs> I was trying to move it, but it was the wrong, wrong, wrong buttons. <laughs> I mean, come on. Okay, ask about wolf hunting contest at Lord's residence. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Let's go. I want to hear what he has to say. May Einar's blessings be upon you. Blessings be upon you. Now it isn't here. Yeah, okay. let's talk to you. Ah, so many things to do. Ooh. Making arrangements for the contest, checking up on the farm. Um, I, I hear there's a wolf hunting contest. I know that you've come a long way, but our situation <laughs> is pretty bad. We might even have to shut down the contest at this rate. Oof. We must lure the wolves to proceed with the contest, but the bait we've been using just isn't working. Okay. Lord Hobbs cherishes this contest. He hasn't missed a single one. You have no idea how much trouble I'll be in if this year's event falls flat. Oh, um, wait. If you're here for the contest, can you please help me? I need some ingredients to make a okay. new kind of bait. Yeah, there's a lot of fetch quests so far. I'm after some wolf hunter keepsakes. A wolf hunter keepsake? But that's... Mm -hmm. um, no, never mind. But first, you need to help me procure the ingredients needed for the bait, okay? Please defeat the crackle in the wrecks on Windhill Shores. They're tricky to find, but the wolves love eating them. The stench of crackle meat is irresistible bait for beasts like them. Also, investigate any chests that are left in the wrecks. They often contain... Farm! Ah, so many things to do. I know that you've come a long way, but our situation... We must lure the wolves to proceed with the... Co Lord Hobbs cherishes this contest. He hasn't missed a single one. You have no idea how much trouble I'll be in if this year's event falls flat. Oh, um, wait. If you're here for the... Co wolf hunter keepsake? But that's... Um, no, never. Please defeat the crackle in the wrecks on Windhill Shores. They're tricky to find, but the wolves love eating them. The stench of crackle meat is irresistible bait for beasts like them.
Also, investigate any chests that are left in the wrecks. Yeah. They often contain fishing bait, which is quite effective as well. Okay. Please remember, Crackle are difficult prey to hunt, so you should equip at least uncommon level armor. Why don't you pay a visit to Armor Crafter Rachel? I've already dropped a word with her. Ooh. Dave, the Lord Sweet. Aid, was concerned that the bait he was using for the wolf hunting contest wasn't effective enough. He decided to solve this problem by developing a new kind. To get a keepsake for Soyuri, you must first gather the ingredients for this new bait from Windhill Shores. Ach, come on. Okay. Leveling guy, B but there's not. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, where is it? Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's see what this says. I, Da Vinci Aaron, as the leader of the Laslan Allied Resistance Forces, hereby erect this oath stone to honor the heroes who dedicated their lives to the will of the Resistance. Mm -hmm. Those who seek to become part of the Resistance must take their oath with a desire in their heart to follow the will of the Resistance engraved here. As of this moment, I have become part of the Honorable Resistance and will defend the peace of Silesium. Huh? I will fight standing on the side of righteousness against the Archeum Legion that threatens this land. Ah, oh, sweet, sweet. I will complete contracts and never ignore the plight of those who need assistance. I hereby swear as I take this. Okay, how do I... If I drop it... No? Well, that was it? Hmm. Okay. Let me... Touch on this. Touch on this. Well, you know what I mean. Um, quickness. Well, I had only one. Mm, yes. Let's go. God damn it! Still not. It's still not happy, huh? Still not happy. God damn.
Okay. I'm a crafty castle then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll uh, continue this uh, tomorrow, guys. Hopefully, I'll be live uh, earlier than today. That would be sweet. But yeah, guys. You freaking legend. You legend today. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, thanks for coming by, chatting, everything in between, for lurking. And I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Hell to the... I, I like this. I like this. Really, really fun. But now, time for bed. Thank you.